But all of our master's courses uh, offer a combination of in-person, short intensive residential uh, blocks which are delivered here in Cambridge, uh, as well as uh, elements of online delivery. So typically you could expect to come to Cambridge for one, two or three residential periods uh, in the first year of your course. Um, this might be less frequent in the second year when you're focusing on predominantly on your dissertation. There's no typical teaching style. We draw on a wide range of different uh, approaches and different ex subject experts um, and there is no Cambridge style that we would uh, request that they deliver. However, typically you can expect to have a combination of face-to-face -face and possibly online lectures as well as smaller seminar groups um, and possibly even tutorials uh, in groups of two or three. So in terms of resources and what the college provides, this will naturally differ from one college to another. Typically, uh, a college will have its own library and you would have access to that library. It would also have, you would also be allocated a college tutor. So you will be assigned a college tutor as you matriculate with your college. Within the first induction week, you should know the name of that college tutor and ideally have met them. So you will already have that personal relationship. You can reach out to your college tutor whether you are on residential in Cambridge or whether you are working from home or some other area. You can contact them by email or any means that they ask you to, but they are there for you as your first point of contact in times of need. That support should reflect your needs, so the pastoral support may take you in the direction of counselling, you may want academic support with study skills, you may have other needs for support, the need to discuss financing your studies, or the need to consider other things around your complex life. The college tutor will meet with you regularly. They will also address whether you have any academic concerns, so anything around study skills, the understanding of your course, whether you are struggling with any issues such as mental health issues or other health issues. They will also be your route into the Accessibility and Disability Resource Centre where you can be assessed for additional support, which can include extra time, longer library loans. It can also include other things like where you may need different access to buildings or support around, for example, hearing or visual problems. The list is very, very long. You should expect nothing short of an exemplary experience. So all of these things are planned. However, if during the course of your studies something changes, then you must go to your college tutor and let them know that something has changed. So this may be a problem with health, it may be a family member. For example, there may be a job loss, which is causing financial difficulties. But your first point of call is, of course, your college tutor. You will at all times be treated with discretion and sympathy, and you should have no problem in going forwards to speak with them. From the Institute viewpoint, we also have the Student Support Service if you needed or felt that you needed to come to us to discuss something initially so that we can then signpost you. And we would like to suggest to you that your experience here will be in the context of being an adult student and that at ICE we completely understand the complexity of life for adult students who are completing their studies. What I would really like to say to you is but at the Institute of Continuing Education, every student is valued, every student is an individual. So although we are not your primary source of support, we do welcome hearing from you. You are absolutely welcome to be in touch and you should expect that every aspect of your education, including your pastoral support, will be excellent when you are here with us. You'd also become part of a community of learners and the college will typically provide a range of facilities and resources to support you throughout your studies. A virtual learning environment is our central learning hub for students. So all programs offered by the Institute of Continuing Education have access to a virtual learning environment space. And this is where students spend their time learning. It's where video resources and audio resources and teaching resources are held. But it's also a space where students can engage with each other in, in a 
an academic way or just in a personal way as well. We have various uh, discussion forums where students are able to communicate with each other. Uh, it's also the place where they do assignment submissions, etc. So it really is your central learning place um, online uh, for your face-to-face -face studies on MSD programs with the Institute. So for students who are maybe new to the virtual learning environment experience and are unsure of you know, navigating the virtual learning environment, there's a couple of different support mechanisms we offer. One is a thumb for the students to know that they're never alone. There's always support available from the Technology Enhanced Learning Team by our help desk as well as with your academic program team. On top of that, we also offer um, training for new users on the virtual learning environment at the start of the uh, academic terms or at the start of the program. We'll run a number of sessions throughout the week um, where new users can join us on a Zoom call. and We'll walk them through getting online to the virtual learning environment as well as give them a quick tour of what does their teaching space look like? Where can they find certain uh, assets? And where can they find you know, where their assignments need to go, etc. We also have built into our learning and help files um, available to students on the virtual learning environment a tour of a VLE space. So we can go over a uh, sort of map of the, the, the VLE and what a course space looks like, and sort of the student can hover over each individual area and it'll explain in more detail um, what that area is for and what they might need to use it for. So it's, we're always there to help. Um, again, with the resources that are available online through the virtual learning environment um, and the live sessions that we run um, as far as training goes. So new students are always supported as, as best we can. Uh, and that support starts right from this one as students is accepted. Um, on my team in the Technology Enhanced Learning team sends out welcomes. Uh, all the welcome information includes usernames, passwords, um, where they can find support, etc. if they run into any difficulties. So our goal is to get new users online as quickly as possible and familiar with the virtual learning environment as possible because we don't want the VLE to be a barrier to learning. It's more of a, a sort of focused hub of, of where learning happens outside of the classroom. So it's definitely an important thing. For the past 150 years, ICE has been proud to provide opportunities for adult students and an inclusive education for everyone. It continues to do that and I would like to say from the student support team, we are absolutely delighted to be able to support adult students in the successful completion of their study.